all right people today i'm going to be showing you how to flash the smj3271 which is the metro pcs version of the samsung galaxy j3 prime and we are going to be using updato.com to download the firmware the links will be in the description so we come to the form field here hold on there's the link this is a form field so we type sm dash j three two seven t we select the t1 from the bottom here from the list all right so here it is there there are three versions of the same firmware but they're all the 7.0 they're the latest android 7.0 update for this version i'm going to be using this middle one here which is the july 6 2017 version with uh, the july 6 2017 for um, security update so i'm going to hit download Okay, you can see on the screen here that's the internet download manager sorry for the flickering on the screen um, I'm not going to re-download the file I'm just showing you that it that it downloads that this is how you download the file right, it might look differently on your computer I'm using internet download manager so you might be using your browser's download manager and it will download at whatever speed that you that you have on your connection so let's go back to the folder here let me show you the there's the already downloaded file i'm going to use winrar to extract it so i'm going to pause the video and come back when it's extracted all right so it's done here is the fully extracted folder you can see all the files the ap bl cp csc and ohm csc and the TMK there tells you that it's the T-Mobile that the file is, the firmware is from T-Mobile so I'm using Odin 3.12.3 you have to use this version because this version um, you have to use this version I will put the put a link to it in the description if you don't use this version the, the file will not be able to flash onto the phone so you can see me using Odin to load up the files. You have to put the files exactly how they're labeled. So you select the BL for the BL, select AP for AP, CP for CP, just like how you see them. You will not be selecting the OM CSC, not for this video. So meanwhile, the AP is loading up because it, it, it usually takes a while to load up usually takes about two three minutes uh, at some point I will pause the video and get back to it when it's done so um, another tip another note is you have to sometimes connect your phone into download mode before opening Odin as you can see where it says ID com right here you see it says com 80 it might show up differently on your phone right um, see I'm loading the CP and the CSC right there CSC all right so I'm going to hit start and the phone will start flashing I'll give it a second here and we come back to the video hit start and the phone will start flashing now to put your phone into download mode you have to hold down onto volume down power and the home key to go into download mode once you see those writing you will see some writings on the screen it might be in blue it might be without it might have a blue background yours might have a black background with white and yellow writing um, whichever you can just no this because of the software version you will see a blue background with white writing you just press volume up and you will see the download mode or odin mode come up on the screen 
and you connect your phone then you open odin and follow all the the, the steps that you just saw right make sure that you see the where it says id card make sure that you see it lit up like you see it on the screen here if it's not lit up like that it it does not recognize the phone if you have done all of those steps and you do not see it on the screen you have to install your samsung usb driver right so you can see it on the screen flashing right here and um you're wondering what does this do this is a way to update your phone if you have this six point say for example you have a 6.0 version you want to upgrade to 7 android 7.0 this is where to do it your phone has a boot loop you have problems with things crashing on your phone like the settings um, crashing every time you open something is a system process um, stopped unexpectedly or something like that this will help you to fix those problems it will not remove frp so be sure to turn on developer options before you do this or your phone will be stuck with frp on it so the phone is almost done here all right it's done pass that means that it's done completed in two minutes and 16 seconds right so i hope that this video helped you in some way i hope that it helped to solve your problem whether you have a boot loop or you have some kind of process crashing on your phone i hope that it helps you uh, for any further questions please leave a comment if you do if you need help with something leave a comment like the video if this video helped you uh, or send me a message okay Thank you for watching as you